Martin here, your UT admissions guy. This is the fourth video of a five-part series uh, discussing admissions data. Uh, the first video we talked about data university-wide. The second video we discussed admission statistics and student profiles for business. Uh, next was computer science and Turing scholars. And in this video, I'm going to discuss admissions data for the Cockrell School of Engineering. So the Cockrell School of Engineering is unique at UT Austin in that they admit students uh, on their specific choice of major. So in natural sciences, we're like it doesn't matter whether you're biology or chemistry or you know textiles and apparel or, or biochemistry or physics, um, they admit students based on the applicant pool for the College of Natural Sciences. The only exception to this, like I discussed in the last video, is computer science, and I also believe neuroscience uh, to be the case there. So for engineering, the advice is to pick two different disciplines for your first and your second choice uh, for different uh, majors within the Cockrell School. Um, because if you don't get admission to your first one, you, you might be considered for your second one. And in fact, I've had both transfer and first-time freshman clients um, who have been admitted to their second choice engineering major. So it's a little bit different um, than the rest of the university. So uh, college-wide, so the Copper School of Engineering is, is one of the most popular and increasingly popular majors at UT Austin. Um, the applications have nearly doubled since 2010. Um, in 2010, about 6,200 students applied, and in 2016, um, about 11,300 students submitted their application to the Copper School of Engineering. Um, the admissions rate has decreased from 39% in 2010 um, into 27% uh, for that fall 2016 enrolling class. Um, I don't have the data for 2016, 2017, um, but it's likely that this uh, increase in application numbers has continued. Um, so even though the the call the school itself has you know, decreased in its admissions rate over time, um, there's a lot of variability within the actual majors themselves, and that's like a huge question that students ask. You know, like what's more competitive, aerospace or civil, or like architectural or petroleum? Um, and now that I have the data, like there's definitely answers to this question. Um, certainly, like all of the admissions profiles for for each of these majors are going to be competitive. You know, engineering applicants are pretty. You know, self-selecting group of students. You know, these are students who are taking calculus, who've done well in the SAT, ACT, math, um, and so you know, you know, all these majors are going to be competitive. It's not like one is super easy. There's like a secretly easy major to get into. It just doesn't really work like that. Um, so I'll go in alphabetical order and kind of rank, um, kind of like least competitive, most competitive, and sort of this middle range um, competitiveness um, for each of the engineering disciplines. Um, so aerospace engineering is varied a lot. Um, the admissions range is between 32% and 41%, so depending on the year, depending on how many students apply, um, you know, it just depends. Um, there's been a steady uh, rate of increase in the application from 714. Um, there's a slight dip there in the middle years, 2012-2013, and then it uh, rose up again to, to about uh, 1,150. So um, aerospace, you don't really know what you're going to get, but uh, it's probably in the kind of middle range in terms of competitiveness for uh, the engineering disciplines. Um, so architectural engineering is actually the least competitive discipline within the Cockrell School. It has the lowest amount of, of applications. Those application numbers have ranged between 127 and 180. Um, the admissions rate has also fluctuated between 44% and 64%. Um, so that's kind of a significantly higher admissions rate than the other engineering disciplines. Um, biomedical engineering is highly competitive. So UT was one of the first universities in the country that uh, produced a biomedical engineering degree for bachelor students. Um, you know, prior within the last 15 years, it was, it was usually a graduate degree. Um, and it's definitely one of those hot new majors, it's kind of like computer science. It's, it's you know, kind of pushing the edge on, on uh, kind of how, what we can do with biology in terms of pharmaceutical industry or, or genetics and so on. Um, so the application numbers have almost doubled between 2010 and 2016. Um, from 823 in 2010 to, to about 1,460 in 2016. Um, and they admit about 25% of their students annually. So this is certainly one of the more difficult majors to get into. You know, they're going to look for, for a demonstrated track record, of course, of taking calculus. But reviewers are also going to look for, for a demonstrated interest in biology and chemistry. Um, so definitely, you know, if you're going for biomedical, you're going to need to you know, put forth your best effort on your application. Um, chemical engineering is also highly competitive. Its application numbers have doubled um, from 762 to 1,520. Um, the admissions range is at the low end. Um, they admitted 18% in 2014, um, but that number increased in 2016 where 27% where of applicants received a favorable admissions decision. Uh, but again, it's one of these really competitive majors, so um, definitely put forward your best effort. Um, civil engineering is kind of in the middle range for, for its competition. 
Uh, the apps have been steady. They haven't seen a significant increase or decrease. Um, so that trend is, has been pretty equal. They had 659 applicants in 2010 um, and only 810 in 2016. Um, the admissions range has been at a, at a, at a high, uh, 42% in 2014 and 35% in 2016. Um, so again, it's, it's gonna be a, a little less competitive than, than the typical uh, major for the Cockrell School. Um, electrical and computer engineering is highly competitive. It's the second most popular choice um, within the Cockrell School itself. Again, applications have nearly doubled. Uh, 1,320 in 2010 uh, to almost uh, 2,800 in 2016. Um, the admin rate has steadily decreased. It was 45% in 2011, uh, decreasing to 24% in 2016. So again, like with computer science, we can anticipate uh, electrical and computer engineering to be, you know, uh, one of these really popular choices as the years uh, as the years go on. Uh, mechanical engineering is highly competitive. It's always been the most popular option within the Cockrell School. It's kind of the most diverse degree. You can do just about anything um, with a degree in mechanical. My sister-in-law, for example, got her degree in mechanical engineering, um, did an internship at Boeing, and that set her up for a career in the aerospace industry where you know she's been for the last 10 years. Um, applications, uh, like the rest of the school, have almost doubled, uh, about 1,374 in 2010, uh, up to about 2,660 in 2016. Uh, the admin re admin admissions rate decreased from 32% uh, to a low of 20% in 2014, and then it went up a little bit again in, in 2016, up to 24%. Um, but you know, kind of like uh, you know, chemical, biomedical, these this is one of the most uh, competitive majors out there. So the biggest wild card is petroleum engineering. I think these statistics, this might be like the most interesting of all the data I looked at. Um, so petroleum engineering was like a really big deal when I worked at UT Austin, especially because it's you know right up there with Texas A&M. It's one of the top two or three programs in the country, um, and it like literally fluctuates with the price of oil. Okay, so in 2010 there were 362 applications, um, 139 students were admitted for an admissions rate of 38%. Uh, in 2012 there were 689 applications, admitting 112 students for an admissions rate of 16%. So literally in two years uh, the application Admissions rate, you know, doubled in competitiveness. Uh, just three years later, the applications doubled again to 1,511 applications, and the admin number of admitted students stayed about the same at 154. So only 10% of petroleum uh, students got admitted in 2015. But then, literally the next year in 2016, uh, the admissions rate doubled uh, to 20% because the applications were cut in half. So the year before there was 1,500, 2016 there were 715 applications. Um, for 146 admitted students. Um, so again, it's like still really competitive at 20%. Um, it might have leveled off, it could have increased, we don't know yet. Um, if you're interested in petroleum engineering, I, I definitely push uh, students to, to look into the, to geosciences. It's one of the hidden gems at UT Austin. They take really good care of their students. I'll talk a little bit about geosciences admission in the next video, um, but I think petroleum is a really interesting one. Uh, so, you know, the moral of this story is like engineering is competitive. Some of the majors are more competitive than others. Um, you see a lot of fluctuation in year to year. Um, so you don't really know like which majors will be more or less popular in a given year, but you can certainly look at, at trends nationwide uh, to maybe t to guess. But again, like, you know, you want to get a first choice major that uh, that you could reasonably be expected to graduate with that you'd be, you know, contend with. So don't like choose architectural engineering like if you have no desire to be an architect because there's like no point, you know, in, in, in doing that. Um, this is all the information I have for you today. Uh, the last video I'll discuss kind of admissions trends for, for all the colleges and schools across the university and, and answer this question, you know, which majors are most competitive. Um, as always, you know, feel free to get in touch, Kevin at TexasAdmissions.com. If you want a free consultation about your admissions chances to the Cockrell School of Engineering, uh, I can provide a free consultation. Uh, that information and link is, is in the, the text box below this video. I've also got a course coming out where I'll review, uh, you know, kind of read applications and, and provide a lot of interactive modules for, for writing those essays and crafting your resume. So be sure to sign up for my mailing list to get the latest news there. Um, uh, in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll release the next one here in the next week or two. Uh, as always, I hope you have a great day.